Oh, there you are. Hey, so I wanted to talk to you about volunteering today and I figured if we're gonna talk about volunteering, I wanted to come to campus because there are so many different ways to get involved on campus. And while, you know, we might not be here full time just yet, campus has given me so many volunteering opportunities throughout my undergraduate career. And I thought it was only fitting to talk about why you should volunteer on campus, whether it be virtually or in person. So if you're thinking about volunteering, let's talk about why you should. Sometimes I feel like I done lost it And I don't even really know the cost yet But every time fear is on my mind You remind my soul that I'm free I know I can't go on my own You came so I wouldn't have to go it alone You took the long road so you could show me home Found love better than I've ever known So now I know that I can say Even when I'm down in the darkness You call my name out loud Used to think I had to do it on my own But I'm never alone now you call my name out loud. Used to think I had to do it on my own, but I'm never alone now. Used to think I had to do it on my own, but I'm never alone now. Hello. So, volunteering. Bit of a weird topic sometimes because a lot of people are like, well, you're not getting paid, so why would you volunteer? And that's technically true, but there are actually a lot of benefits to volunteering that I want to talk about a little bit about in this video. So, okay, let's say you're wanting to get started in volunteering. You're like, where do you even start? So I think the big thing what you can do to start is update your resume. That's a big thing that I think a lot of people don't tend to do. I mean, like, listen, I get it, but resume updating is a bit boring. You have to like, sit at a computer for five hours and think about the ways, all the ways you're great. But a good resume helps you stand out in front of the crowd. I mean, I've sat on some hiring panels for clubs and, and other things at university and, and a good resume goes a long way to show your dedication, your organization, your commitment. It helps you stand out in front of the crowd. Oh, so you built your resume. Excellent, great work, I'm so proud of you. Now you have to choose a place to volunteer. And when I tell you that there are so many places to volunteer on campus or in the community, like there's a lot. There's a lot. Maybe it keeps me up at night, maybe it doesn't, who's to say? What helps though, is narrowing down your interests. Ask and answer these questions for yourselves. What is my passion? What am I interested in? Am I looking for a volunteer opportunity that aligns with my academic studies? Am I looking for something entirely new? Because I think that answering those questions for yourself will go a long way to help narrow down the field of potential places to volunteer and it'll help make things a lot less overwhelming, I'll tell you that. Now, there are lots of places you could go to volunteer. It would be futile for me to, to list them all here because, again, there are so many. So I'll just share for you a couple of options that you can use to at least get started, and then I'll provide some links below that you can follow to do your own research. Now, it wouldn't be a trip to campus without uh, a certain someone saying hello, and that someone... Oh, look at this guy. Come on. Don't you miss this guy's face. Mac himself wants you to volunteer. The senator, he thinks you should volunteer. He thinks it's worthwhile, right? So where are we? You've built your resume, you've spent some time making it, now sort of comes the, the part where you might second guess yourself. Why? 
Why do it? Do I have time for this? Is it really gonna be worth my while? Well, let me tell you, I, I think you absolutely should. There are three main reasons I think that are important for you to think about when making the jump to start volunteering. The first one being that volunteering uh, boosts your employment prospects. A lot of employers will look to your volunteering experience when they're evaluating candidates. You know, volunteering experience can demonstrate your passion, it can demonstrate your additional skill set that might not be necessarily directly relevant to what you're applying for, but it might become useful later on. And it shows that you're a well-rounded candidate. Second thing about volunteering that makes it so worthwhile is its ability to help build new skills and also develop existing ones too. Volunteering offers a great chance to expand your skill set, teach you new things, you can learn a lot of new things and it helps you really develop those soft skills. You learn the value of teamwork, collaboration, problem solving, conflict resolution, all of those things I've personally learned and, and developed through my time volunteering. All of these, you know, soft skills are invaluable when it comes to paid employment and also life, really. Like, volunteering really helps you get better at some of those skills. And, you know, if you try out something that maybe you've never tried before and you do it through volunteering, you might pick up a new hobby or a new skill along the way, too. I need to sit down for this one hot outside. Whew. Okay, so finally, I think the thing that is the most important thing to consider if you're thinking about volunteering is the fact that volunteering allows you to make a difference. The ability to just know that you've given back to your community, know that you've invested your time and your energy into something that has helped other people. Whether you're doing like a three hour event for just one day or you're volunteering with an organization for months on end, you will find that you have just such a great sense of fulfillment from doing whatever it is that you did. Because volunteering helps to give back to your community and to know that you've helped other people too in your work is just a great experience all around. Ah, oh. you know, I was gonna end this vlog by like walking around or something, but like, eh, I feel like, I feel like we're, we're cool here, right? No, give the people what they want. They wanna see you walk around. No, you probably don't. Volunteering offers you so much and it offers you a chance to learn and grow and if you have the time the capacity the resources to do it i would absolutely recommend you do it the volunteer experiences that i've had at university here they've been fun they've been exciting they've challenged me they've helped me grow as a person and as a leader and as a collaborator i don't know what my university experience would be without the different ways that I got involved. So make the most of it. You will find that your university experience is so much more enriched because you volunteered. And if you're ever in doubt about how to get started, because my goodness, there's so many ways you can, talk to the SSC Careers team. Check out our live chat on our website. Check out Oscar Plus and book a mentorship. You know, keep an eye out on our socials for our volunteering workshops that we run throughout the year. The Careers team is amazing and I can't encourage you enough to at least do one volunteering thing a turn, if you can. You know, I think I just might sit here for, uh, for a little while. I don't need to do other work, right? No. Is that Centro I smell? <laughs>